Attention auto enthusiasts. If you've been keeping an eye on the electric vehicle EV market, you won't want to miss this breaking news. Ford is hitting the brakes on their push into EVs and putting their foot on the gas for hybrid cars. That's right, in a surprising turn of events, the American automaker is slowing down its EV initiatives to focus on the more conventional hybrid models. But why the sudden shift in gears? And what does this mean for the future of electric cars? Stick around as we dive into the details of this stunning development and explore what it could signify for the auto industry. First, a quick refresher on Ford's previous EV plans. The company had been investing heavily in electric vehicles with models like the Mustang Mach-E and the F-150 Lightning generating buzz and excitement. So what's changed? Ford has made a surprising pivot, putting a greater emphasis on hybrid vehicles as part of their future strategy. Is this a sign of waning confidence in EVs or simply a strategic adjustment? Before stating why Ford would have made such a bold decision, let's first go over the differences between EVs and hybrids. While both EVs, electric vehicles, and hybrids share some similarities, they are quite different in a few key ways. EVs are powered solely by electricity, either from a battery or a fuel cell. On the other hand, hybrids use both gasoline and electricity. Hybrids use a gasoline engine to power an electric motor while EVs don't have any internal combustion engine at all. EVs produce zero tailpipe emissions, making them environmentally friendly. Hybrids, while more efficient than conventional gasoline cars, still emit some emissions from their gasoline engines. While EVs have a limited range charging infrastructure can be spotty in some areas, they also tend to be more expensive up front. Hybrids have a longer range and are more fuel efficient than conventional gasoline cars. So why has Ford chosen to break away from EVs? Ford's shift in focus toward hybrids can be attributed to several factors, all of which have combined to influence their decision-making process. Despite Ford's significant investments in EVs, the company may have concluded that it's not as profitable as they'd like, at least in the near term. With relatively high production costs and a still-developing market, EVs can be more challenging to profit from compared to more established hybrid vehicles. Also, while EVs are growing in popularity, many consumers are still hesitant to make the switch due to concerns about range, charging, infrastructure, and cost. Hybrids, on the other hand, offer a more familiar driving experience and may be more appealing to a wider range of consumers. Ford may be betting that catering to this larger market will be more profitable in the short term. And lastly, with several major automakers pouring billions of dollars into EV development, the market is becoming increasingly competitive. With established players like Tesla and newer entrants like Rivian and Lucid Motors, the EV market is rapidly evolving. Ford may be concerned about their ability to compete effectively in this space and maintain profitability. By focusing on hybrids, they can capitalize on their existing strengths and differentiate themselves from competitors who are more heavily focused on EVs. But how does this shift in strategy impact Ford? This shift towards hybrids will have several significant impacts on Ford's business strategy and vehicle lineup. Ford will likely prioritize the development and production of hybrid vehicles over EVs, which could result in fewer new EV models and updates. They may also focus more on electrifying their existing hybrid models, such as the Escape and Explorer, to further enhance their fuel efficiency and reduce emissions. This shift could also impact Ford's brand image, as they may be perceived as less committed to EVs and sustainability than some of their competitors. Ford has historically been associated with innovative and cutting-edge technology, such as the Mustang and F-150. However, the decision to prioritize hybrids over EVs could harm their reputation as an industry leader and potentially damage their appeal among environmentally conscious consumers. Ford has also made significant commitments to sustainability and reducing emissions, including a goal to achieve carbon neutrality by 2050. This shift towards hybrids may be seen as a step backward by some and could undermine their efforts to position themselves as a leader in the transition to cleaner transportation. Notwithstanding, the decision to prioritize hybrids could be viewed favorably by shareholders, as it may provide more immediate profitability and stability compared to EVs. 
However, it could also be seen as a missed opportunity for growth and innovation potentially hurting investor confidence in the company's long-term vision. Although Ford's employees, especially those in research and development, could be impacted by the shift. Some may be reassigned or even laid off as resources are redirected away from EV development. In addition, Ford's decision could have broader implications for the auto industry as a whole. Other automakers may follow suit and prioritize hybrids over EVs, which could slow down the transition to electric transportation. On the other hand, it could create new opportunities for Ford's competitors to gain market share and establish themselves as leaders in the EV space. This decision by Ford is likely to have ripple effects throughout the industry, and it will be important for the company to navigate the potential challenges as it moves forward. What do consumers think about this decision? Consumers' reactions to Ford's decision have been mixed. Some buyers prefer hybrids over EVs due to concerns about range, charging infrastructure, and cost. These consumers may appreciate Ford's decision and feel that it aligns with their preferences. For some consumers, Ford's increased focus on hybrid vehicles may be appealing. They may see hybrids as a more practical and affordable option for reducing their carbon footprint without having to fully commit to an EV. On the other hand, many environmentally conscious consumers view EVs as a crucial part of the solution to climate change, and they may see Ford's shift towards hybrids as a step backwards. These consumers may be disappointed by Ford's decision and may even consider switching to a different automaker that's more committed to EVs. Some consumers are ardent supporters of EVs and see them as the future of transportation. They may be critical of Ford's decision and see it as a sign that the automaker is not fully committed to the EV movement. As Ford shifts their focus towards hybrids, they have several strategies in mind. Ford has hinted at plans to introduce new hybrid models, including potential hybrid versions of popular SUVs like the Ford Escape and Ford Explorer. They may also explore hybrid versions of their trucks and vans such as the F-150 and Transit. Ford may also invest in upgrading their existing hybrid models to make them more competitive in the market. This could involve improvements to battery capacity fuel efficiency, and performance. They may also expand their investment in mild hybrid electric vehicles, MHEVs, which use a small battery and electric motor to improve fuel efficiency. This technology could be applied to more of their vehicles, making them more competitive in terms of fuel economy. Ford may also look at improving their existing hybrid electric vehicle lineup, which includes models like the Fusion Hybrid and C-Max Hybrid. Upgrades could include increased efficiency and range. Ford's decision to prioritize hybrids over EVs is in contrast to the strategies of several other major automakers. Tesla, the California-based automaker, is perhaps the best known for its commitment to EVs. They have a range of fully electric models, including the Model S, Model 3, and Model X, and have made significant investments in charging infrastructure and battery technology. The Volkswagen Group has been aggressive in its push towards EVs, announcing plans to launch a range of electric models across their various brands including the Audi e-tron, Porsche Taycan, and Volkswagen ID3. General Motors has been ramping up its EV efforts, investing in new electric models like the GMC Hummer EV and Chevrolet Bolt EUV. The company has even stated its goal of going all-electric by 2035. While Toyota has been more cautious in its EV investments, it has also been investing in hybrids and plug-in hybrids. Toyota's strategy, like Ford's, is centered around hybrids as a bridge to electric vehicles. Hyundai has been making significant strides in both hybrid and electric vehicles, with models like the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia Niro EV. Hyundai's strategy appears to be more balanced with a focus on both hybrids and EVs as part of their long-term plan. Overall, Ford's strategy seems to be more aligned with Toyota and Hyundai, emphasizing the role of hybrids as a transitional technology while EVs continue to develop and mature. Despite the potential setbacks caused by Ford's decision, EVs could continue to grow in popularity as technology improves and charging infrastructure expands. Many automakers have made significant investments in EVs and are unlikely to abandon these efforts. Ford's shift towards hybrids could mark a turning point in the auto market, 
With other automakers following suit and prioritizing hybrids over EVs, if this happens, hybrids may become the dominant alternative to conventional gas-powered cars. Some experts believe that the auto market will eventually evolve into a mix of EVs, hybrids, and conventional gasoline cars. In this scenario, consumers would have a range of options to choose from, with each type of vehicle appealing to different buyers based on their priorities and preferences. Ultimately, the future of EVs is highly dependent on a variety of factors, including technology advancements, consumer preferences, and policy decisions. Only time will tell which direction the market will go. Ford's decision to prioritize hybrids over electric vehicles is a significant development that could have wide-ranging implications for the auto industry and the environment. Ford is shifting its focus from EVs to hybrids due to profitability concerns, consumer demand, and the state of the EV market. This shift could affect Ford's brand image, impact the EV industry, and alter the mix of vehicles in the market. While it's too early to say for sure, Ford's decision may signal a temporary adjustment or a longer-term shift in the auto industry. That's it! So what do you think about Ford's decision to make the switch to hybrid? Do you think they should have acted differently? Let us know in the comments section.